Hey, it's Matt and Dawn from Tea Angle, and today we're going to be talking about one of our most popular and signature teas, our Phoenix Honey Orchid Red. Mm -hmm. Now, what makes this tea so unique and what makes it so special? Well, first of all, it's a black tea, but it's a black tea that uses leaves that are generally used to make a Danchong Oolong tea. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the producer that we uh, source this particular yeah. tea from has taken some of those Oolong tea leaves and made it and processed them into a black tea. Mm -hmm. And the result is you kind of get a common, like you get a tea that kind of combines the best of the like best of both worlds. You get yeah. the um, aromatic qualities of an oolong tea, mm -hmm. uh, and especially Danchong oolong teas are, are really known for their for their fragrance, fragrance. their aroma, mm -hmm. and also their ability to take on multiple infusions. So you get those positive qualities of that of a Danchong oolong tea mm -hmm. combined with the depth and sweetness of a good Chinese black tea. So Danchong um, is mainly produced in the area of uh, Finnish mountains near Chaozhou city in Guangdong province. Um, although it's a tea that's been around for a few hundred years, this type of black tea was only developed in 2009 by the local farmer and the Academy of Agricultural Sciences. Yeah, so it's a pretty new tea. Yeah. Like it's only been around for what? Less than 10 years, yeah. 9 years. 9 years or so? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty new tea and in terms of the actual processing itself, mm -hmm. like it's a little bit different from your standard black tea. So yeah. with the standard black tea, um, like it's the same where the tea is 100% oxidized. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why you get like a really that really dark brown reddish kind of color. Yeah. Typically with a standard black tea, it goes through four stages after the tea leaves have been picked. Mm -hmm. So once the leaves have been picked, it goes through a withering, withering. a rolling, rolling and oxidation and then a drying stage. Yeah. Now with the honey oak red, mm -hmm. it's there's an actual there's an added step uh, called shaking and it typically it typically happens uh, after the withering stage. Yeah. So once the tea leaves have been withered, um, withering being uh, where they sort of lay out the tea um, and let it kind of air dry a little bit, mm -hmm. like it, it softens up the tea leaves a bit. Yeah. And um, once that stage is done, it goes through this uh, kind of shaking process, which is typical process for making a Danchong oolong tea, yeah. at least the beginning steps. Mm -hmm. And the shaking of the tea, to tea leaves is actually um, designed to really draw out uh, those aromatic and fragrant uh, qualities mm -hmm. that are inherent to a Danchong tea leaf. And so putting that into the black tea, mm -hmm. that's why you get, you know, with our Phoenix Honey Orchid Red, it, you get that really nice kind of fruity, um, sort of sweetness and also that, um, that aromatic quality. Yeah, um, so when we first discovered this tea on our first sourcing trip to China, uh, we were amazed by this yeah, tea. Blown away. It had this like um, really wonderful aroma and um, fruity, yeah, fruity, fruity sweetness. sweetness yeah, really fruity sweet. sweetness, um, that unlike any other black tea that we yeah. tried before. So um, as this black tea um, was made using the cultivar of uh, Milan Xiang or Honey Orchid, we simply named it Honey Orchid Red. As black tea is known as red tea and hong cha in China. Yeah. Okay, so uh, well let's let's get tasting um, let's get tasting some of the tea. Yes. Okay. So uh, we just have a quick look at the uh, dry leaves first. Yeah. So <laughs> um, so yeah, if you look at the leaves, uh, they're actually a little bit um, they're a little bit larger than a I guess a standard kind of Chinese black tea. Yeah. Larger than the uh, Lapsan Sucho. Yeah, because normally Danchong leaves are, uh, are quite large, they're quite big, you know, full leaf kind of teas. Mm -hmm. So obviously the, the Danchong black tea would also have the larger leaves as well. Mm -hmm. Cool, so let's get brewing yeah. some tea. Yeah. Mm, that's so good. Yeah, that fruity, it's good. That fruity sweetness is definitely there. Mm -hmm. It's got, got a slight floral note as well, yeah. uh, which is very typical once again of Danchong teas. I really like this. I'm, I, I'm in love with this aroma. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of, definitely one of the teas that we can drink every day yeah. um, and, and never get sick of it. No. Morning, afternoon, doesn't really matter. It's, it's definitely one. It's, it's a great everyday kind of tea to drink. Very yeah. easy to drink as well. And I, I like to take this tea to Yum Cha as well. BYO yep. tea. <laughs> um, yeah, because obviously yum cha teas are not, you know, they're not exactly of the best quality. Yeah. Sometimes, so yeah, sometimes we go out to yum cha, we just request a, um, a pot of boiling water, bring this tea in, brew it, and 
enjoy it throughout the meal. Yeah. Start serving some of this tea. Yeah. Should probably have served you first. Yeah, definitely. That's a little rude of me. My apologies. <laughs> uh, I don't get enough tea now. That's all right. That's all right. Well, um, we'll have a couple of more infusions after this. So, mm -hmm. okay. cheers. <laughs> yeah, that aroma is. Yeah. Sweetness, fruitiness. This is just an all around really, really easy to drink, yeah. really pleasant tea. To be honest, um, this tea has been my favorite tea um, since we um, discovered it, mm. like, like from like three years, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm really in love with this tea. Today. I mean, sometimes we drink other, you know, sort of black teas as well and all that, but um, no, we, this is one we always definitely go back to. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a really nice, not just a really nice fruity sweetness, like you got a, you, you get a really nice kind of lychee kind of taste. Aftertaste. But the most important yeah. thing, as Dawn is saying right now, and what we're experiencing now, is that aftertaste. Yeah. And that to us is one of the key things that we look for mm -hmm. when we're looking for like good quality tea. Like, what is that aftertaste? Um, and also that, you know, that hui gan. The hoi gan, um, yeah. It, is, is it coming like right now? We're getting that really nice lychee yeah. fruitiness, and you saw how long it, it, it it's been since we finished drinking the yeah. tea. <laughs> it's still going, like yeah, it's still it's, going. It's I guess um, this is uh, one of the very um, important characteristic um, of Dan Chong because yeah. it's got a really nice hoi gan. Um, from Dan Chong. That's why uh, we get this um, really nice aftertaste from this black tea as well. Because um, normally you don't get much of the. You, you do get you do get some hui gan mm. and um, you know from yeah. a black tea. Yeah. But this one, um, I would say, is more pronounced than the other yeah, black think, tea. Yeah, well, I think this one. Tried. I think this one. It's not just more pronounced. It also lingers yeah, much longer. longer. Like I'm still, I'm still getting it. Like I'm still getting all that like really fruitiness of it. Still there? Yeah, uh, we forgot to show the the liquor color just then. Yeah. Look at the color; it's really um, got a very nice golden amber color. Yeah, it's really not clear. very. It's sort of a lighter, uh, lighter type of black tea. Yeah, um, you won't get a very strong bitterness from yeah. this tea. And the liquor is so soft. Mm. It's really soft. Very smooth. Lingering aftertaste, mm -hmm. sweet fruitiness, a little bit of a floral note as well. Um, it's quite complex for, for for a black tea, I think. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of black teas that we try, a lot of it's just very. A lot of it's actually quite like single note sort of black teas. Some black tea, even though they are aromatic, but they they lack of the fruitiness. Yeah. And um, definitely not as you know um, lingering mm -hmm. aftertaste. Not as good as um, the one that we have yeah. today. On to our third infusion here. Yeah. So as you can see, we, we I mean we enjoy this uh, <laughs> this tea very much in the same way as we would enjoy our, our Dantong oolong teas. Uh, so in the traditional kind of kung fu uh, kung fu style, using a guy one. You can brew in a teapot. That's not a problem. Yes. Yeah. Although we like brewing it in a guy one uh, because uh, we find guy guy ones allow like really bring out um, the aromatic qualities yeah. of a tea. But it also works really well in like, you know, sort of any standard teapot, whether it's a glass teapot, porcelain teapot, or even a yixing teapot. Yeah. As well. Yeah, we tried to brew it in a yixing teapot. Um, it was pretty good. It yeah. worked, yeah. I mean, it wasn't, to be honest, it wasn't as aromatic. No. But um, I guess some of that depth and sweetness was yeah. was a bit more pronounced. So actually, you know, I think it had, I mean, to me, it was, a, it was a bit more of a sweeter tea, not as aromatic. Um, but you know, still very, still very nice. Like it's actually quite amazing how, not how different it is, but like the, the I guess the subtle differences yeah. um, that a yixing teapot would bring to the tea when you compare it to like brewing with a gai wan or with a, uh, a standard teapot. Yeah, standard teapot. This is the third one. Hmm. The the flavor is still all there. Yeah, still all there. So a lot of black tea when we brew it in um, 
Okay, and by the, the third. Yeah, by the third time. Yeah, yeah it's start losing. Most of the flavours yeah. already kind of got like there's still, I mean, there's still flavour in mm-hmm. there, but I think by the about around the third, definitely by the around the fourth infusion, like yeah. a lot of those other kind of black teas, they, they start to kind of start tasting like flavoured water a bit. Yeah. You know, so but this one here actually lasts quite a long time. In fact, sometimes uh, when we're working and we have just a little guy one of this mm-hmm. um, next to us, it lasts us from you know the morning to you know early afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Like it's actually a tea that um, doesn't quite last quite as long as your your standard Danchong oolong mm-hmm. teas, um, but it's it still lasts quite a long time for a black yeah, tea. Yeah, because it's um, the leaves. Is made uh, from the Danchon tea leaves. Yeah. That's why um, it can still uh, take on a lot of infusions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, as you can tell, we really love this tea. And what we did, decided to do recently <laughs> was kind of, I guess, test out mm-hmm. whether this tea was, you know, whether we could find any better. Yeah. I uh, guess. And uh, so what we did was we sourced other Danchon black teas from different producers um, mm-hmm. in the uh, in the Phoenix Mountain area yep. just to compare and see how our Danchong black tea compares yeah, to... where the, it stands. Yeah, where it stands, yeah. I guess, yeah, compared to the other one. Obviously, what we were looking at was teas that are at the same or similar price point. Yep. Um, actually, I think we got one that was a little bit more expensive. Yeah, it, it's nearly the double the price. Yeah, yeah, close to double the price yeah. as well. So um, we tried a few different ones and, I mean, to be honest, um, I don't think any of the other ones really... I mean, I know this is going to sound a little bit biased, but they really no. <laughs> didn't stand up to like didn't stand up to the one that that, that we managed to source. Like the, mm. the they they didn't they didn't really make like meet our standards or really make the cut. I mean, it was it was a bit strange. Like some of them had a slight I don't know a bit, bit of a burnt sort of yeah, taste. Yeah, I think they um they over either over ro- uh, roasted the tea yeah. or they didn't like manage. Um, very well on um, mm-hmm. during the oxidation stage. Yeah, and I think yeah. some of the other ones maybe I, I don't know if it they, they maybe didn't store it properly because some mm-hmm. of it had a really musky, almost I wouldn't say moldy kind of taste, but it mm-hmm. had that really weird musky kind of yeah. flavor, um, <laughs> which tasted just really weird. Yeah, yeah. I think there was one. I mean, there was one that actually when we smelt the uh, the, the wet leaves, mm-hmm. they actually smelled quite sweet. Um, mm-hmm. Actually, a little bit. I, I found a little bit sweeter than this. When it smells, yeah. yeah. When, when you smell, sm- when you smell it, yeah. yeah. Smelling the dry leaves, I'm like, oh, this one, you know, should be good. Yeah. Um, like the dry leaves had a really nice aroma. The wet mm-hmm. leaves themselves, I thought actually, it seemed like it smelt a bit. Uh, I mean, you can't smell sweet, but it had a bit more of a fruitiness. Yeah, in there. you can actually smell um, the light, some light, yeah, some light Maybe more like a honey the... note as well. I, I can get a little bit of light yeah. tea from the wet leaves. Yeah, the wet leaves, I'm but, saying. But the thing is, when we taste it, we, we can't get any of the fruity no. notes. All that fruity note was gone. Yeah, that's... And it was replaced yeah, with an almost, I don't know, burnt wood kind of taste. Like yeah. It, it tasted, of, not like firewood, I'm saying, but like, it, it had this slight ashy kind of taste to it that was a bit weird yeah like it had that slight you know it had a slight sweetness in there yeah. that black tea kind of taste but then it was a bit overpowering with that like kind of ashy woody mm-hmm. you know <laughs> taste which was it was just weird yeah i thought and when we check when we check the wet leaves of the teas um you can see it's actually quite dried yeah. and black yeah i would say like like look at the different color like we'll you know we, when we compare the different the, the, the two teas, yeah. like the ones that we source, it, it has a it's more of a deep brown, yeah. um, copper like color, mm-hmm. uh, which is what a good Chinese black tea like should look like. Yeah. Whereas this one here, as you can see, it's a bit more, it's a bit darker. Yeah, it's darker and it's it looks dull. Yeah. So it's not not like there's no brightness. Yeah. Of of the no elements. vibrancy. No, I guess. no. Like and actually, when you touch them, the texture like it's definitely much rougher mm-hmm. than the ones. Than, than our one. That leads, I mean, I guess with that particular one, I guess we can only conclude that the leaves were either like older, mm-hmm. you know, they, they were picked at a later stage or something. Yeah. Um, they and, probably used maybe lower quality of the Danchong tea leaves. It could be, it and, could be. And, and uh, the funny thing is, um, some of the producers, they didn't specify like what kind of Danchong black tea yeah. um, is. Yeah, because yeah, as know, you know, Danchong has like so many, so many different, different types. Yeah. I mean, they, they claim to be like, how many? Um, they say they like, say like 214. Yeah, 214. Around, yeah. yeah. I mean, whether there is actually 214 different ones, I mean, whether they all taste different, we're not sure. But all those different cultivars um, can be made into uh, 
into a dance from black tea. And I mean, the thing is, our producer told us exactly which one was used to make this black tea. Some yeah. of the other ones that we sourced from, like we asked them, but they, you know, they just didn't tell us. Yeah, they just, 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 just like, it's, 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 it's a dungeon black, black tea. It's a dungeon black tea. Okay, which one? <laughs> yeah, and they're like, well, if it's a dungeon black tea. Okay. So I was yeah. like, all right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll taste it. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's, you know, varying success. Like, yeah, I guess um, they probably haven't um, had enough experience to, um, to you know, to make the black tea, the Danton black tea, yeah. um, as our producer. Yeah. Um, and also, we recently, after we taste all the teas, we yeah. just recently found out our producer was um, actually an award-winning producer. Yeah, he's an award-winning producer in mm -hmm. China. You know, got a few um, awards from the like, from, from the World Tea Union. Yeah. Um, with one of his black teas being, like, earning the, the top spot. Yeah. So... And, and we can see why, like, I mean, after finding that out and then tasting all the different teas, like, we can see, it's like, okay, there's a difference here. Like, yeah. the difference in producer is, is, you know, quite significant. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, the thing is, after we found this out, we kind of, I mean, we weren't trying to find out his traits. Like, not, we weren't exactly trying to find out all of his secrets or, or anything, but we did ask him, you know, try to ask him a little bit in a bit more detail how this particular tea is made because we love it so much we want to know as much as we can about it and he kind of describes the typical processes that we just described but he didn't you know we got a, kind of got the feeling he didn't want to go any more you know any deeper um and i think he has some sort of secret uh, yeah some weapon. sort of family <laughs> secret or something like, i don't think it's a secret ingredient or anything like that it's mm -hmm. like some sort of secret process or something that he does yeah. that just makes this, or I don't know if it's something that he does or where he sources his tea from, maybe he just gets a really nice cultivar and just knows how to bring the best out of it. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in there, there's some sort of magic. Yeah. I think that's happening, but he didn't, you know. It makes a difference. Yeah, but yeah. obviously he, did, he wasn't going to share all his family secrets with us because, mm -hmm. you know, this is, his, this is what he does and um, it's, it's, it's their family secret, I guess. Yeah. And, um... And I'm so glad that he recommended this tea to us when we, um, yeah. you know, first. Yeah, it's not like we went. It's, like, it's not like we went searching for it as well. No, it's uh, we're actually there to search for Danchong oolong teas because we found out about it, you know, and we we loved that type of tea so much. We just wanted to see, you know, what the true character was. So we we visited the uh, the Phoenix Mountains. Um, someone introduced us, and we tried all of these Danchong oolong teas, loved them. Mm -hmm. um, we, we tried, you know, from you know his base level ones to his really high quality ones. But one of the teas he then recommended to us, like sort of in halfway through or you know towards the end of the trip, was this Danchong black tea. Black and tea, we're like, yeah. oh, what's that? I didn't know Danchong. You know, our first reaction was we didn't know Danchong came, came in black tea. Mm, so I was no. like, oh, this sounds interesting. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. And as soon as I we tasted that, it was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. Go like, away. Like, what is this? It's like, this is, I don't think I've had black tea like this before. No. And like straight away, like I said, we, we, we need to get something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's proved that people love it. Like when we bring, when we, um, you know, introduce to um, the audience in Australia, they, they all love it. Like yeah. in the tea festival, this, this was the most popular tea. Like yeah. We sold out all the stock um, yeah. in the tea festival. Yeah. And we even like take back orders. You know, the nice name matched the nice tea, so people, yeah. you know, when so. they try it and they love it and they do, they buy it. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to source something like this that's this special and I'm glad other people also um, also enjoy this tea yeah. as, 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 as much as, as we, we do, do as well. Yeah, yeah so that's it from us today. Uh, we're going to sit here and enjoy this tea for a little bit longer because there's still plenty of flavour in that tea for us to enjoy. Yeah. Uh, but if you um, but if you like this content uh, and or like the videos that we're producing, please mm -hmm. click that like button below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Yeah, and also if you would like to find out more about our honey orchid red, um, you can also click the link below to find out more information about it. Yeah, we have a lot more tea related content coming up, uh, mm -hmm. so please keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Um, but until next time, bye. See you guys. <laughs>